We're here with Ben Barton, big win, 46 nothing. First off, how's it, uh, in your opinion, how do you guys think you played? And, and obviously, it's a big blowout, but I mean, in your opinion, how did everything go tonight? Uh, obviously, we came out really sloppy with holding on to the football, and then our offensive line pushed through, and everybody t rallied together to make it a pretty decent game, obviously. When it comes to how are you utilizing, look like you're on both sides of the ball, how, how do they utilize you within the offense? Uh, I'm just another one of the linemen on our team. Everybody works together, everyone's all in one. Uh, when it comes to, uh, what did you see out of Columbus when you guys watched the tape, and, and what did you guys work to kind of exploit or, or take advantage of there? Uh, when we watched them at first, we thought of them as a very Air Force offense, everything through the air, because we don't play teams like that up where we're from. It's all run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. <laughs> With, with your development, how have you seen yourself, you know, the first part of the season go and grow, you know, even from like the summer on uh, till now, how have you seen your, your progression this season? Uh, I mean, this year's been great so far. We came out really sloppy week one and then pushed it all through in the second half. Week two, we played Anagoa. They're an okay team talent-wise, but I feel like we beat them down. And then last week, we had a pretty decent game. I know you were at the at Camp Randall last week. How many times have you been? Or you were down there last week. How many times do you expect to be down there coming up uh, for the season? Every home game, except for if they play at 7:30, I get home around three o'clock, so it's <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> so unless it's Iowa. How's the communication with the coaches been? How have you talked with them, and, and what are they saying about your potential position when you get to Madison? Uh, I mean, as of right now, they've got Trey and Jack, and they're both pretty big guys, so I wouldn't be shocked if I'm playing guard. Or they said offense, so that's their plan. But obviously, whatever's best for me or, and the team when I get down there. Does that mean possibly going to defense, too? When it comes? If that's what they want, I'm open to anything. Uh, you, I was going to say, when you played both sides of the ball tonight, how did, you know, when you play that defensive line, like, what, any change in mentality from what you have and, and whatnot? Or? Well, it used for, goes for me being able to use my hands on defense and tackling kids, the offense just blocking them out. So it's a, it's not a hard change, obviously, growing up in D5 football. You play both ways, every kid on the team. So we practice every day both ways. There's no difference. Hey, going forward, uh, are you planning on enrolling early, or are you going to be? No. Our basketball team did pretty decent last year, so it would be nice to push through even farther. We got knocked off in basketball early and I ain't going through that again. <laughs> Have you had a chance to get a chance to talk to more of the, the commits, some of the new newer commits that came in this past week? Uh, I haven't talked to James or Isaac and Aman I talked to a little bit. Uh, but right now, I think Tanner, Jack, Trey, Dylan, all the, Sean, all the offensive line, they're all really my favorites probably. <laughs> Cole's pretty cool too and chill. <laughs> Who's, who's the funniest in the group chats or whatnot? Oh, Tanner. Dan Tanner's a different cat. <laughs> and it probably will be my roommate. What, what makes him so different? Uh, his mentality is a lot like mine. That's pretty cool to see. So we're probably the most open and not as serious guys. 